Hi VR Jedi, Tatiana from Disco VR is back with another Beat Saber downgrading tutorial. If you're watching this video, then you probably already know what downgrading is and why we want to do it. Short answer, mods. mods. Slightly longer answer, my previous downgrading tutorial is currently outdated because of the newest Beat Saber update release. Kudos to the Beat Saber legacy team for acting so quickly with this new method. Make sure to join their Discord if you have any questions, and you can join by following the link in the description. That being said, the the actual process of installing mods and custom songs on Beat Saber using BMBF is described in these two videos, which are linked in the description, but since they are only work for version 1.13.2, in this video I will show you how to downgrade your Beat Saber to that specific version from the latest version. As of today, the latest available Beat Saber version is 1.16.1, but even though newer versions will be coming out, this method should work for all of them. Quick note, you will need a PC to downgrade using this this method, but it is also possible to do using an Android phone. But this process will be described in another tutorial, which I will also link here when it is available. As a disclaimer, this process does not facilitate piracy in any ways, but more on that at the end of this video. Ok, now if you're ready, let's go! First, make sure that you know which Beat Saber version is currently installed on your Quest. For that, start the game, and in the main menu you will find the version of your Beat Saber written in your right footprint. As of today, I have the latest version installed. After that, you will need to back up your current Beat Saber version. To do that, connect your Quest to your PC and open SideQuest. If you don't know SideQuest, please watch this video link below describing in 3 minutes how to set it up on your PC. You do not need a powerful PC to do it, any computer or laptop will do. Here you will go to Installed Apps and find Beat Saber. Click on this gear to open more information and click on Backup Game Data if you want to backup your data. Then click on it again and backup the APK file. This is the most important step. Finally, click on this gear one more time and click on Open Backups. This will open the folder on your computer and in the APK folder you will find your Beat Saber backup file. You can see that I also have my older backup here that I created for my previous tutorial, but the newest backup is this one. You will know which one is the newest because it'll have today's date in the title. Keep this folder open so that you see where your backup file is stored. And now the most interesting part. In order to downgrade your Beat Saber, you will use a web-based tool developed by the Beat Saber legacy team. You'll find this tool by following this address and I will put this link below. This website contains the downgrading tool and the deposit of various Beat Saber patches that work on different versions. We will need to downgrade to the version 1.13.2, so this is what we will list in the target version to filter out the other versions that we won't need. That leaves us with these patches. Download the patch for your current version of Beat Saber, which is hopefully the latest version. Remember you saw it in the footprint. Mine is 1.16.1, so this is the patch that I'm going to download. Remember the folder location where you downloaded it to. After that, on top of the page on the APK Downgrader tool, click Choose File next to APK. You'll need to locate your backtap Beat Saber APK file here. Go back to that folder that you opened using SideQuest, click on the path, copy it, and paste it in the Downgrader tool. Select the most recent backtap version of Beat Saber and click Open. After that, click Choose File in front of the patch and now do the same for the patch, but this time select the file that you have just downloaded from this website. Finally, when you're sure that you have selected both files correctly, click on Downgrade and the downgraded APK should download on your computer. We're almost done! The last thing we need to do is uninstall the current version of Beat Saber from our quest and install the new patched version. Click on this gear and select Uninstalled app and now install the patched version, the one that was generated using the downgrading tool. You can do this by either clicking on this icon and selecting the patched file or by simply dragging and dropping it at the top left corner of this window. Congratulations! You now have successfully downgraded your game. Now when you start the game, you will see this warning that will ask you to update the game because you're not using the latest version, so of course don't update it, otherwise you will lose your version 1.13.2. Instead, click on Launch Anyway to start your downgraded version of Beat Saber. You can see that right here in the footprint you have this version 1.13.2, the one that now you can mod and add custom songs to using BMBF. And now you can 
proceed into my earlier tutorials on how to mod your Beat Saber and install custom songs, custom blocks, walls, and sabers while we are waiting on the updated BMBF. If you have any questions about the downgrading process, the best way for you to get the answers is by joining the Beat Saber Legacy Group Discord server. The link is listed below. I will also link the written guide to this downgrading process here. I do want to bring your attention to this small FAQ section on the web-based downgrader tool. According to the developers, this patch does not contain any game code. It just knows how to rearrange the code of the game that you already own to bring the game down to its older version. So it basically moves around the bytes of the code of the game that you already purchased and therefore you are not downloading anything illegally because these patches will only work if you have legally purchased your version of Beat Saber. And that's it, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you will continue enjoying the countless customization and modding options for your Beat Saber. As always, I will keep updating these tutorials as things change because we still don't have a stable version of Beat Saber and no updates on the new BMBF release. So make sure to subscribe to Disco VR to be the first to find out all about the updates in the Beat Saber modding world of Quest. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe! And as always, happy gaming!